Welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Crazy news, crazy turtle Tuesday news came out of nowhere for me, okay? Uh, so, uh, here is the uh, rundown. Uh, way back when, in the ancient times, in the 80s, the Ninja Turtles uh, uh, were made by uh, two two guys in a basement, I guess. Uh, I think they were in a basement. Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. And uh, each had different versions that they drew of the Ninja Turtles. Kevin Eastman had his version, and Peter Laird had his version. Now, the Kevin Eastman version has been immortalized in uh, toy form by Mondo Toys, okay? But the Peter Laird has not... Until now, okay, because uh, you got this uh, uh, company, I think it's called Ish or Bottleneck Gallery. I, I got all of this info from TMNT Party Wagon, and then, then uh, Pixel Dan made a video about this. So I'm just going to steal all that uh, information from all of those sources. By the way, follow TMNT Party Wagon if you want the scoop. Uh, on, on, on all this kind of shit, because that's where I just steal all my info. I steal everything, okay? I, I'm not original uh, in the slightest. So, uh, they are making this bottleneck gallery, and I'll put a link in the description, is uh, producing these um, Peter Laird, uh, uh, they're, they're like concept figures, okay? But they're not just like far-reach concept figures, like when Star Wars is like, oh, in some book or something. This was made by one of the creators. This is the first design, so if you want to kind of like pay homage to that first design you can get or you can try to get i don't know how fast it's going to sell out limited figure by the way goes up on sale i guess for the general public tomorrow wednesday may 10th at 12 p.m eastern now i guess you can become a member of this bottleneck gallery and you can get a link for it um uh, ahead of time i know there are some people that are ordering it now that are uh, members of that so I don't know how long this lasts. The reason is because they are limited. So here is uh, the breakdown, okay? Uh, they are doing three of these, okay? One of them is like just, uh, and I, I believe they're all supposed to be Michelangelo, okay? As was the Kevin Eastman Mondo version, okay? So there are, there is a, uh, uh, just uh, the orange uh, version Michelangelo, which is $75, and that's limited to 500 pieces. There is the red bandana version, okay? It's not Raphael. It's, I remember back in the day, they had the red bandanas. So that's a take off that. There, that one is also $75 and uh, 500 pieces. And then there's a black and white version. There's two black and white versions, okay? There's a standard version, also uh, 75 bucks, uh, 100, uh, 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 sorry, 500 pieces. Now you can get all of those bundled up for $200, okay, which is a pretty uh, good deal considering how big these are. I'll show a comparison of what they, uh, from from uh, from Pixel Dan's video of, of the size of them, also compared to the Mondo figure. Uh, but uh, you can bundle all three of those up, I believe, for uh, $200 uh, as well. Now, aside from that, there is a black and white, another black and white version, but this one uh, comes with swap out heads. So you can take off the black and white head and put on like a red mask or or an orange mask. Comes with two heads and it comes with a print, like a Peter Laird art print you could put on your wall. People come over, hey, what's that? That's a Ninja Turtle. Let me tell you the story. Uh, yeah, so there are technically four versions of this. And it'll go up on sale, again, uh, uh, for the general public, May 10th at 12 p.m., Here's the comparison shot that Pixel Dan put up so you can get a look of, uh, of what they look like in scale. Now, they, they are pretty big uh, they're, they're, um, uh, because that Mondo one was uh, sizable as well. And you can see what it's like uh, next to the Super 7 figures, and those are uh, big as well. So, uh, limited edition Ninja Turtle action figure goes up on sale, limited to not a lot of pieces, will sell out, guaranteed. So, if you are... Uh, even on the fence about I want to get, uh, I want to pay homage to uh, to uh, the, the Ninja Turtles of old or what started the seeds of the Ninja Turtles, uh, you should go ahead and uh, 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 be there at Bottleneck Gallery. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, again, I don't know how fast it's going to sell out because there are people that are members already buying it right now in this moment. I don't even know how you become a member, by the way. I, I looked on their site. I have no fucking clue. But uh, you can do that. Uh, uh, and just, but if you're not, again, May 10th, tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern, be there or be square. Do people say, even say that anymore? I don't even know what it meant originally. Be square, I guess, be, be kind of lame. But uh, yeah, so uh, Peter Laird, Ninja Turtle, I guess it's technically Michelangelo. 
uh, uh, dropping tomorrow. Remember, orange version, red version, black and white version, second black and white deluxe version with swap out heads and art print. You put it up, everybody thinks you're cool. So that is all I got. Just wanted to give you guys an update on Turtle Tuesday so you don't go, hey, I follow Man Hatter and he never mentioned this. He's my turtle guy. I'm going to find a new turtle guy. Slow down. You're staying right here because you're getting your fucking turtle news here. Uh, that is all I got. I wanted to talk about some other stuff, but I don't want to uh, make this video too long. So let's just leave it at that. Okay, let's just go our separate ways now. And uh, that is it. Comment, subscribe, drop me a like. Be prepared tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.